हमारा अरुणाचल ही बहुत सुंदर जगह है मैं वही सोचता हूँ इसलिए हमें ये इस अरुणाचल को छोड़ के कहीं नहीं जाना Arunachal Pradesh is a very beautiful state but what makes it perhaps more remarkable is the tremendous variety of life forms both plants and animals that we see here we have life forms that are originally from china southeast asia the rest of india but what is unique that it is here that these species have come together met hybridized and given rise to newer forms of life this is perhaps therefore the state where one is likely to find newer species if one were to search for it and forms which may not be seen anywhere else in 2003 therefore when the nature conservation foundation launched an expedition into the higher altitudes of this state we were not really surprised when we found a monkey which we believed was a new species a new species of macaque which we subsequently called the arunachal macaque or macaca munzala पहले बंदर तो पहले अभी तो हम तो पचास साल ये उम्र पहले का बंदर था अभी तो पहले तो कम थी था जगह अभी तो सात जगह है हम बहुत बंदर निकला कुछ में बंदर छोटा था सब इतना वाला है ना हम कहते यहाँ तो कला उधर तो कला होगा और भी और जंगल पार में कला ज़्यादा होगा हम लोग दो जगह होगा यही बंदर थोड़ा सब इतना होगा उधर तो कला ज़्यादा ऊपर वाला जंगल में बिजने वाला आना होगा it's really not a new discovery in that sense it's more about reporting it in the scientific tradition the local people there clearly knew about it and they had known about it for centuries perhaps I think this discovery was extremely exciting not only for us but for the world of science in general because in today's world when forests are shrinking and people are everywhere we seem to have discovered all the natural systems that exist the reporting of a new species of monkey a large animal came as a tremendous surprise to everybody
What was also very interesting for us is that here was a monkey which was found in the eastern Himalayas up to an altitude of 3,500 meters. And there are very, very few species of primates anywhere in the world which occur at these high altitudes. The macaques are a very, very successful group of monkeys in the sense that they live in various environments. Across Asia, you find them close to the beaches, by the oceans. You see them in scrub jungles, you see them in deciduous forests, you see them in rainforests, and of course they are found in cities as well. All of this goes to show that this group of monkeys are able to adapt very easily to various kinds of situations, including human beings, and live lives very, very successfully in these variety of habitats. And so, and on one hand, we could study the biology of how the monkey was able to adapt to these high altitudes, to the kind of forests that it lived in. And on the other hand, how it interacted with people. Here was a monkey which was obviously close to the hearts and the lives of the people, but everyone looked at it very, very differently. Chang <laughs> The, the problem of crop 
damage uh, by monkeys is a critical one and that will most certainly need to be addressed. And the damage seems to be pretty high. In a lot of these places, the Arunachal macaque is persecuted in retaliation. People here, in particularly in Tawang, don't eat uh, monkeys, but uh, they largely kill these animals in uh, retaliation against uh, uh, damage to crops. यहाँ हमें बंदर नहीं होने से अच्छे हैं ना हम लोग यहाँ में हमको बहुत गुस्सा लगता है क्योंकि क्योंकि हम लोग जो मेहनत हम लोग हम लोग जितना पढ़ाई करने से भी तो नौकरी नहीं मिलता है ना नौकरी तो नहीं मिलता है वो जितना पढ़ाई करने से भी नौकरी तो नहीं मिलता है इसलिए हम लोग नौकरी खेती है क्यों जो मेहनत करता है वो भी बंदर आधा तो खा जाता है इसलिए हम लोग बंदर को बहुत गुस्सा लगता है भगाता है ना बस्ती वाला सबको बुला भगाने के लिए कोशिश करता नहीं आता है तो हम लोग हम भगाते जाकर भगाने से भी थोड़ा कुछ भाग जाता है फिर आता है फिर आके फिर खा जाता है बेचना ही पड़ता है वहाँ देख के ना देख के ही बेचना पड़ता है फिर काम नहीं होता एक आदमी का तो एक आदमी वहाँ में रहना ही पड़ता है बंदर को भगाने के लिए ना तो फिर ज़्यादा आदमी होने से तो एक पेटी करना ज़्यादा आदमी नहीं होने से तो कहाँ दूसरा एक दो आदमी होने से तो वही काम करना खेती करना पड़ेगा खेती काम नहीं करने से तो फिर खाने को नहीं होगा ना तो At this point, I would think that there's going to be two critical uh, components to a conservation strategy in this in an area like this. Uh, one is most certainly, you know, addressing the problem of uh, crop damage by monkeys. How to address that conflict? That will still need some bit of more work, some bit of more research, some bit of more talking to people. It could involve things like, you know, better um, better systems of guarding crop fields during, you know, the the critical times that uh, monkeys particularly cause damage. Trying out, not replacing these crops, but at least the fields that are close to the edges of the forest, trying to see if we can have crops that uh, are not damaged to the extent by monkeys to the extent that other crops are. Perhaps even better coordination amongst people, you know, as part of a program, catalyzing better coordination might help. The important opportunity here is that in many villages people have stopped hunting, which is part of the reason they think that instances of crop depredation have increased. अभी तो आजकल तो बंदर वो मिल के मरने से मर जाए ना वो ताला में से मात को रोबल के बंदा है आजकल नहीं करते ताला में जिन बार यहाँ तो हमें ऐसे ले मुपाप मात को रोबल के ऐसे बंदे हम जो आजकल नहीं करते नहीं मरते कहीं भी मात का तो ये बल ले ना ताला में तो जिन बार तो हमें आजकल ये हम नहीं करते पाप भी नहीं करते स दाल में ना सब्जी खाओ, मीट नहीं खाओ बल, पाप लाएगा ऐसे बल। People have given up hunting because of their, you know, Buddhist beliefs, and that is something which really provides a very important opportunity for a conservation program. It's it's an ethic that uh, people here already have. It just needs to be strengthened and it needs to be preserved. जंगल में, पहाड़ों में, नदियों में जीने वाले जो जीव जंतु हैं, उनको सुरक्षा मिले और उनके जो अपने एक अधिकार हैं, हमारे तरह उनको भी अधिकार होना चाहिए, तो उनका अधिकार को भी हम ऑनर करें और उनको सही अपने जगह पर जीने दें।
जैसे हम अगर काल को मान लीजिए हमने हाइड्रो बना लिया तो उसमें जैसे बांध बांध के पानी को कुछ करके केमिकल डाल के कुछ करके अगर जैसे मछियों के घर को हम नष्ट कर रहे हैं मान लीजिए या आज हम एक जंगल से सड़क बना के जा रहा है उसमें कई जीव जंतुओं को घर को नष्ट कर रहे हैं तो इन लोगों के अधिकार के ऊपर में उनके राइट के ऊपर में शायद हम ध्यान नहीं देते तो इसलिए इस पर ध्यान देना आवश्यकता है मैं समझता हूँ कि शायद आपका इसके माध्यम से लोगों को थोड़ा क्रांति लाए लोगों को जागृति हो लोगों को समझ में आए ये हम आशा करते हैं The other problem is that places like uh, Zemithang, if the current, you know, the kind of uh, plans that uh, are being made for a place like that, if they go through, then well, soon enough, Zemithang is going to turn into a fairly uh, prosperous, rich place, and we shall see another kind of development, which is again something you cannot deny: the expansion of the township and so on. But that is ultimately going to be uh, detrimental to the Arunachal Makak. So it's a species that really needs to be um, conserved. Will need to be conserved around people. You cannot have uh, very, you know, you cannot hope to set up a large protected area wildlife reserve aside and uh, aside and hope that the Arunachal macaque will uh, survive there. Arunachal macaque will flourish in landscapes like this where there are people. The challenge is going to be to harmonize people's prosperity, which is extremely important, with. Uh, also a situation where the arunachal makaf can flourish which is not going to be easy but it's certainly possible ha hum yahan bandar ke sath problem to hai magar kuch upay bhi nahi hum jab chhota se tha tabhi se bandar to yahi reh raha hai aur hum abhi thoda bada ho gaya tabhi bhi bandar to yahi hai abhi kuch basti wala kuch कहीं भगाने की कोशिश कर रहा है तो भी भगाने से भी कुछ 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 फ़ायदा तो है नहीं इसलिए बंदर भी यहीं रहेगा और हम भी यहीं रहना है इसलिए अभी कुछ हमको कुछ उपाय करना पड़ेगा